Some breaking news we're following tonight in Bristol. That's where a stolen police cruiser crashed into a diner. Pinpoint News Tracker shows us where that crash happened at Palma's Diner on Stafford Avenue in Bristol. Nobody is hurt, and tonight we have learned police made an arrest. Yeah, and really quite a scene here. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Susan Raff is live in Bristol, breaking down the chain of events that actually started in Farmington. Right, Susan? Right, Mark, this has been such a busy day, and we want to show you that stolen SUV is now finally being towed out of Palma's Diner. It has been there all day as police have been investigating. This all started in Farmington with a crash and then a carjacking and then a chase and then to a screeching halt here at Palma's Diner. It was during lunchtime, and there were customers inside Palma's Diner when this stolen police cruiser drove right into the entrance. The manager at this gas station across the street heard the crash. So all of a sudden you heard a loud noise. Yeah, I'm take only loud. I I don't know. Yeah, that's it. What happened then? When happened then? Uh, Did you look outside? Yeah, I look. I looked this side. So when he looked outside, he saw the cruiser and lots of police cars. The owners of the Palma Diner posted this on their Facebook page. Everyone inside the diner at the time of the accident is safe, despite being shaken up by all of this. At the moment, we don't know when all of this will be resolved or when we will reopen. This all started in Farmington. A DOT worker tells Eyewitness News he was driving a snowplow on Swampscott Road when all of a sudden he was hit by a dark SUV. He says the SUV spun out of control, then hit a fence, and then crashed into this stone wall. According to that eyewitness, the SUV was totaled. Police say the suspect went to a nearby condominium complex and tried to steal two cars from people at Knife Point. On his third attempt, he was successful. However, police say a 27-year-old man sustained minor injuries. The suspect then drove to Bristol, where he stole a police cruiser that was parked in the area of Jerome Avenue and Davis Drive. When we got there, we saw lots of police cars and state police troopers. After stealing the police cruiser, the suspect led police on a chase, which ended up here on Stafford Avenue, where the suspect then drove right into Palma's Diner. A very long chain of events today. We are waiting for an update from police, and as you can see, they are trying to tow the stolen police cruiser out of there. They do have someone in custody, and coming up on Eyewitness News at 6, we'll have more reaction on what happened today, plus some surveillance video, which shows the stolen police cruiser just seconds before it crashed into the diner. We are live in Bristol tonight. Susan Raff, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. All right.